in the sideboard for a little bit of a post-game interview. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final sideboard of the Charlotte Sealed Open. I'm Glenn Jones. I'm here with our champion, Josh Snyder. Congratulations. Thank you. Here's your trophy. Place it on the mantle of your choosing. <laughs> great job. Great job. It's been a, it's been a while coming. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been trying. This was our first ever Sealed Open, uh, individual Sealed Open, I should say. Uh, tell me a little bit about your route to the top eight. I, I know I got to see your deck in action during one of the rounds. Uh, you had Boros Reckoner, which seemed like a real sweet one. Uh, it's solid. Well, what right other here. cards stood out for you? Um... Righteous Authority was pretty disgusting. Like, Ascended Law Mage was Yeah, expert, sure. And then I had um, Ascended Law, uh, Righteous Authority, and I had Gift of Rosova. So just and ways to make those, the card stone unbeatable. Yeah, yeah. It, it's bad. I mean, <laughs> kind of unfair. Hexproof. I mean, thanks for Hexproof. Lizards. What a mechanic. What a mechanic. Uh, good certainly job. Certainly a good combination there. So you made it into the top eight. Uh, you sat down to draft. Obviously, you know, sealed deck's gone. You got to you know, right. build something over. new. Uh, what did you sit down hoping to draft? Did you have any you know, notions going into it as to what colors you preferred? Yes. Uh, you, like, I really like the either Golgari splash white or the, um, the green white with black in it. Sure. Um, I just like that three color combination a lot. Okay. But. I started out, you know, trying to do that, and it just wasn't coming. So I just went with where it was added, and there was a lot of, a lot of very solid blue stuff coming around pack one. So I was like, well, I I, I first picked the um, the Scion, Scion mm -hmm. of Uzagazi. It, I mean, obviously, it's a very solid, very powerful card, and uh, that's why you know originally I was like, awesome, this is what I want to do already. So, but when the black wasn't just just wasn't there. And there was a lot of good, you know, Simic slash green support stuff. I'm like, well, maybe Bant is open. So yeah, it certainly I seemed I to I moved be. into it, and it just kept coming. And then pack two, <laughs> like, the Simic was just disgusting. And I got a couple late pick. Um, I mean, I'd have to say MVP, as far as commons go, was uh, Deputy of Acquittals. I mean, it yeah. was just you, saw, you had two, right? Gross. I had three. You had three. Yeah, I, I saw I you doing some real work. Early, early, and then two just kind of fell into my lap later on. Sure. Pack one, and I was like, okay. I'll take that's it. that's one of the things about the this new DGR format is you know a lot of cards that are very high picks for certain decks. Obviously, you know they're not even picks at all for other decks. You know, right. it's, who's going to play well, Deputy Vehicles? I think you know? what it was is a lot of people were very high picking the Guild Gates. It seemed like because I know after pack one I was terrified. <laughs> Didn't see any of them. I was terrified. I'm like. I think I've got one guild gate after pack one, and I'm like already three colors, and I'm like, wow. But I was lucky, fortunate enough, like pack two, I got, I think I got two more. Um, sure. Simic guild gates pack two, late, like they just came around to me, which was good. And then pack three, I got the the. Selesnya guild, guild gate. Sure. Guild gate. That's one and of the perks so of being I in an underdrafted guild. Four guild gates. I had the the blue white gate. The the gatekeepers are amazing. Both of them. Like, I had the blue one and the white one. So, I mean, my deck just had so much synergy. And then with the, uh, another one of my favorites is uh, the Gorger, the Simic. Five sure, Species Gorger. Species Gorger, yep. yes. That like, guy, I, obviously. I think you saw in that last yeah. game, like, if, if with my deck, like, the couple of times I had trouble was with if I started on mana or if they came out too fast. But if my deck got to mid to late game, I just never, I was never scared. Like, yeah, you had a ton of ways to reuse a lot of your comes right. into play effects. They try to kill something at deputy. Yeah. If you know, if I drop this gorger, obviously I just start bouncing either the uh, sign of Udugazi or the uh, six mana one one that brings in the angel. Even just the deputy's fine. You yeah, know, the you get an instant speed bounce trick and he's cheap. cheap. Like, yeah. yeah, no problem. So it, was, uh, it just all the synergy kind of fell together and. It certainly worked out. You obviously you got the trophy. Uh, I did. Vanquished BBD in the finals. You know, you might not have known this, but uh, the remainder of the top four, other than yourself, they're all my coworkers. You that really? that was a Star City Games com top four, with the exception of you, and uh, you arose victorious. <laughs> so good job. Uh, do you have uh, anyone you want to give a shout out to? Maybe, maybe your mom. You know. Love your mom. Yep. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day all to all the mothers. All my boys back in uh, Fort Bragg area, the GG guys. <laughs> all right. Had awesome. To had to rep for them. My brother, who is. Un Unfortunately, <laughs> very unfortunate today with mana draws and but stayed through he, the he cheerleader was here, to the end. Cheerleaded me, a couple right. of my friends. It was awesome for them to be here. 
well, watch me play. And congratulations well. again, Josh. Thank you. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to go ahead and throw it back to the booth. We'll have uh, Todd and Zach close you guys out uh, for the end of the Charlotte Open Series weekend.